सो हेलो एवरी वन माई नेम इज़ अर्पित कौर एंड फ्रॉम नाउ ऑन वर्ड्स आई विल बी मेकिंग द वीडियोज़ ऑफ पोस्ट कॉलोनियल राइटर्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई विल बी स्टार्टिंग फ्राम ब्रिटिश टाइस्पोरिक राइटर्स एंड लाइक जीन रायज सैम सेलमोन टिमोथी मो हनीफ कुरेशी काजुआ ईशी गोरो एंड वी एस नेपॉल एज वेल एज सलमान रश्ती सो दीज आर द सम इम्पॉर्टेंट राइटर्स दैट आई हैव मेक द इन्फॉर्मेशन रिगार्डिंग दिस एंड I will be uploading the videos of these main writers uh, every day which will be very helpful for you and I will be providing basic information and also every important information for you to preparing for your net examination so please stay connected with me and please subscribe my channel and the first writer is Jean Rice so uh, Jean Rice is a very means kind of a important राइटर एंड शी इज़ अ स्पेसिफिकली शी इज़ अ न्यूड मॉडल विच इज़ अ वेरी वेरी स्कैरी थिंग एंड एट द एज ऑफ सिक्सटीन शी मूव टू इंग्लैंड बट बिकॉज ऑफ सम रीजन शी डिसअपियर फ्राम द सोसाइटी फॉर लॉन्ग फॉर लॉन्ग पीरियड एंड शी हैड अ इंटीमेट रिलेशनशिप विद फॉर्ड मेडॉक्स फॉर्ड हु इज़ अ बेस्ट फ्रेंड ऑफ हर एंड शी also take help she also took help uh, from him uh, regarding his uh, writing career and uh, she uh, portrayed the characters like uh, who are very arrogant anxious uh, and filled with a uh, stream of consciousness and she using this technique because uh, at that time the uh, main writers like uh, darwin fruit are working on that psychology so she inspired from that also the first work is left bank and other stories it is a first short story collection and uh, the intro was written by the ford maddox uh, ford uh, whom we already know and uh, we have discussed already about him and the second work is after leaving mr mackenzie and this is a second novel of her and the main character is julia martin and uh, it is a kind of autobiographical fiction so once she was very beautiful in her past but now she has lost every man in his life uh, and uh, she is not having any man in his life now and because of this she is she has lost every hope of living and uh, so we can see that the condition of that period that uh, women were very dependent on the men for their happiness and the third work is voyages in the dark this is a semi autobiographical work voyages in the dark and uh, uh the main character is anne morgan she is a full of uh, anxiety and uh, she moves from caribbean to uh, england and uh, she is um, uh she is having a very bad time like uh, her step mother is not a uh, very caring and uh, her father has died earlier and uh, now she is supporting herself as a chorus girl then involved with an older man uh, named walter who supports her financially and but after when he uh, left her she felt very dis- very very despair and desperation kind of thing and uh, anne died due to abortion but jean rise uh, revised this story before publication in which anna survives that abortion and uh, now she has moved to her uh, shattered life all over again so uh, that's it so we can say that um, anna is also dependent dependent on the man uh, named walter so the uh fourth work is good morning midnight it is a, a stream of consciousness work and uh, it is also it has also taken from uh, emily dickinson poem sasha jensen and uh, sasha jensen is the main character she is very like um, a melancholy character like she is recalling her past she is uh, has she had very unhappy marriage in her past and due to her child death also she is suffering so much she is uh, every day taking pills and taking so much drinking and uh, we can also relate her to the blanche of uh, street car named desire who uh, was 
also very despair and uh, despair kind of girl and uh, so this work deals with the women's feeling of loneliness depression desperation during the years of world war second the last work we can talk about is white sargossa see you have already uh, read about this so i am not uh, explaining this now and uh, but i will be giving some few important details the main character is bartha mason uh mr rochester and uh, daniel is the step brother of bartha mason so we can say that last short story collection is tigers are better looking and uh, smile please is a, a unfinished autobiography of her and uh, there are another there are some another works like uh, let them call it jazz sleep it off lady so that's it for today i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel and support me also thank you very much so hello everyone my name is arpit kaur and from now onwards i will be making the videos of uh, post colonial writers first of all i will be starting from british diasporic writers and uh, like um, jean rice sam selwon timothy mo hanif qureshi kazuha ishiguro and uh, vs nepal as well as uh, salman rushdi so these are the some important writers that i have made the information regarding this and i I will be uploading the videos of these main writers.